The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour. As always, it doesn't matter where you're at as long as you're here at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we're off 70 points on the S&P cash. We got the bounce I was looking for at the open. Uh, I thought we were going to get a lot more. Uh, what we've seen today is a uh, lesson in absolute uh, short selling, probably at the lows. And the reason I say that is some of the stocks uh, I was watching uh, around uh, noon and one, we're getting 70% short sell numbers on it. So maybe today, maybe Monday, you get that kind of stuff with everybody on one side of the fence. It's problematic. Uh, but just absolutely massive le uh, le uh, amounts of shorting. Now, I thought about it for a while and why might you get this kind of blowout uh, going into next week. And maybe they just wanted to clear the decks uh, for next week as they head on off to the Hamptons. Uh, on a longer term scale, uh, we've got a, a retest of some significant gaps up. Uh, this gap higher in the QQQ uh, goes back quite a ways. Let's go back here and look at it. Uh, there's a double gap, and it even goes back farther than that. But this one goes back to 2020. Uh, this is uh, November 4th of 2020. We'll see what the one is before that. It was uh, pretty much right in that same area. So you've got uh, a down day on October 28th of 2020. And then you have the gap back up uh, at, uh, to, uh, yeah, November 4th of 2020. And we finally come back to say hello to my little friends. Back here, this gap uh, right around here. I thought that we'd probably have some kind of rally today, uh, maybe back up to 4,000 and then the slam down next week on light volume uh, going into Friday. Just the opposite, we slammed down today but look at that volume so far. Let's update it just to make sure. Uh, yesterday, you had 79 million shares. Day before, 79 million shares. Uh, on the 12th, 121 million shares. Uh, today, so far, 54 million shares. And that is echoed in a lot of the bigger stocks out here. Now, we don't quite have a, a close in the market yet. And a lot of times, uh, these light volume thrusts into lows uh, on a Friday will make you sit around until Monday to get the uh, verdict on it. So you don't always get a rally. I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Literally, we've got about a 20-point bounce in the S&Ps uh, to give you one of the biggest buy signals uh, that we've seen back to 2010. Um, I don't think that it's going to have the same results, but I'm going to say that we're going to have a bunch of stocks out here testing previous lows on lighter volume, and they don't have much of anything uh, to do if they want to come back into the trading range. Uh, one of the ones uh, kind of interesting uh, on a shorter term basis out here is Microsoft, which is down on 21 million shares compared to 51 million shares back on the 12th. Uh, the low of the day on that was, what, uh, 250.02. So um, don't have a lot out here to say that you just get 50 cents up on Microsoft and it's going to help out a lot of stuff. Uh, other areas that look like they could just be absolutely washed out uh, on a maybe 30 to 60 day period. Uh, don't know what's going to happen, but... Uh, as I said before, a lot of times, uh, even in bear markets, uh, you get a change in character. Maybe we see that uh, between um, Memorial Day weekend and the 4th of July. 
Today, huge candle down uh, back into the candle of the 12th of May. That had 8 million shares. Today, 5.4 million shares. So there's a lot of stuff in these really beaten up sectors out here that look like it. Now, that volume today, I think, is a little disingenuous in that we saw so many of these stocks have a, uh, like I said, 50, 60, 70 percent of the orders coming through were short orders. And that's almost a, I mean, we had some fairly good shorting yesterday. I thought that was enough, but this is going to be uh, on another standard deviation above and beyond what we had yesterday. So be very careful uh, if you want to continue to be bearish, uh, because there is a lot that could change, and it would take about a New York second to do so. Again, all you need is a close above 38.58. Uh, to say that you've got a buy signal uh, for a system that has worked for 150 years. That's the Wyckoff uh, system, where you go down, test the previous low on lighter volume. I've been buying uh, with some tight stops because if I'm right, I'm not going to need a big wide stop today. Uh, I haven't had equities for a long time uh, that I really wanted to be in. I think I got into one ETF and got out of it fairly quickly thinking long. Um, it's actually higher than when I bought it. It's still doing fairly well. Uh, I just didn't want to be in it uh, and not be able to get out of it. But uh, there's a lot of stuff out here. But uh, we've got stocks pressing 50, 60 percent short sell numbers. We don't know whether or not people went home like that. But, uh, you know, when you get the big washouts, uh, as uh, Warren Buffett says, you got to, I want, I like buying them when they're on the operating table. And at least according to the price and volume here, you've got that. Uh, one of the first questions out of here uh, on the day is Tesla. Uh, as uh, I said, that I thought this was coming back to about uh, 580. Uh, you're pretty close out here. Uh, I think a lot of people are, are probably being a little disingenuous on why it's down here. But uh, when we look at the volume, and I think it's worth 40 bucks. I've never made, maybe 60 bucks. I've never made any bones about it. But uh, uh, this is kind of the end of the road on this one. Um, is it the high volume you really wanted to see the blowout? Uh, February 24th, you had uh, 50, uh, excuse me, 45 million shares. You got 35 million shares. So maybe you hold this. Uh, but it's not some kind of slam dunk, throw the baby out with the bathwater move on the headlines today. Uh, but uh, eh, who knows? My thought was that it was eventually coming back to this $540 day back on March 5th of 2021. Uh, again, uh, great to be a monopoly. But guess what? At the F-150, you got a bunch of other stuff coming online uh, to compete with it. Not everybody's going to buy a $120,000 uh, car when interest rates are doubled. We'll be back in a In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16-year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Bounce in the TLT uh, up to 120, 121. I imagine we probably see that on Monday. Uh, light volume bounce higher, but that gap probably either going to tag it or get halfway in it. That'd be about 121 on it. Uh, to, to what else do we have out here? Okay, what do you see in Nvidia? Nvidia. We'll see what volume is like on this one. Got so many retests of the previous lows out here. We'll see. 71 million shares for May 12th. That's $155.67. 71 million shares. You got 50 million shares now. So let's say you get 60 million shares. Um, probably, like I said, probably faster horses out there. Uh, in the meantime, I think some of the other stuff out there looks a little bit better to me. Uh, to, to, to PLTR, Richard, PLTR, let's see out here. I think some of these things are pretty darn close uh, to setting up. I do like the fact this thing does nothing. It has had nothing but lighter volume for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days, uh, really off this gap low. Uh, it's done nothing but go sideways. So is it giving you a signal? No. But uh, on some pretty horrible days, it can't do much to the downside. Uh, let's take a quick look uh, at William Sonoma. Uh, <laughs> apparently, somebody just got absorbed. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Uh, okay, William Sonoma. Uh, he had that huge down day with volume. He just don't have a lot here uh, yeah I think if you're too tied to housing I think that's going to be one of the weaker sectors so I don't see much going on in there uh, two, 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 okay question about Apple uh, looks to me like a bunch of people are just dumping Apple uh, because it's the easiest thing to raise cash right now uh, there's a buyer 
lower for all of them. Not a lot of volume today. Yesterday, 136 million shares. Today, 88 so far. The day before, 109. If you go back to the 12th, that was kind of the big day down with a doji, 182 million shares. And that compares to the 88 today. Uh, that's not one that's giving a very good signal. Uh, we can go to the queues out here, take a look. Uh, volume was really, as we said, low. Uh, what do we have today? 56 million shares uh, opposed to 120 million shares back on the 12th. So even though we've got a lot of movement, uh, probably about half the volume we should have uh, for uh, as we go back through this candle of the 12th. And that's why I suspect we're pretty close on a lot of these stocks. Um, don't think they're going to make it too easy on you. Um, a lot of times they'll make you sweat out the weekend if you want to go long. But if we get a bounce Monday morning uh, or uh, in the futures uh, Sunday night, uh, keep a close eye on these. Let's take a look at Workday. Uh, D D A Y. Uh, to to okay. And then this is back. A lot of these stocks coming back to these very long-term uh, gaps. This one still has just a little bit farther to go, but pretty close out here. Uh, again, uh, I can look at probably 100 stocks, and 90 of them will probably be pretty good buy signals today if we even just closed up a little bit in the S&P here, and maybe it takes till Monday to do so. It's a tough thing to hold. Uh, stocks through a weekend. But uh, what did you have on Workday yesterday? 3.7 million shares, 4 million shares the day before, 1.6 million shares today. So a lot of these things are coming in to very, very light volume. Again, as I said, uh, a lot of these things are just monster shorting today. So we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, do I see anything in gold, GLD? Uh, uh, understand your basis for a move up, sentiment, data, short interest, many other data points. What's your probability? 80%. Um, well, we haven't gotten the close yet, but yeah, I'd say 80% of the time you test on lighter, as light a volume as we get. That's it. Uh, it's just hard to get that confirmation signal today. Uh, you need 38.58. You open like that on Monday, uh, and you could start seeing a light volume uh, week all the way into Friday with some some decent uh, uh, short squeeze opportunities. I, sus I suspected today was going to be that, and then we were going to sell off into light volume and retest the lows next Friday. But we're getting that test today. And, of course, with options expiration in the last 30 minutes, uh, we're going to have a lot of action, although I think a lot of it actually occurred yesterday. So we have it. Uh, question about the XME. Uh, I did add uh, an energy stock uh, to uh, the fold today. Uh, and, you know, I've been waiting for a long time to get the thing back into it. And uh, it gave a fairly decent signal today. Uh, if you can't get beat up on today, you're, it's going to be tough. Um, didn't uh, on XME, you haven't really quite come back uh, to this uh, doji low. But I don't think you have to. Uh, this was really kind of a one-day uh, abandoned baby at the low. You closed back the next day, uh, letting it sit out there. You're just back into it today uh, with very light volume, 3.3 million shares. Uh, that's compared to the 10 million shares of that May 12th low. Um, yeah, I think you're fairly close. Uh, any kind of, uh, if you wanted to get back into the miners, any close above that three by three, nine day moving average Monday or Tuesday, that would be a pretty big buy signal, I suspect. And the part of probably a bigger, longer ABC on the way up uh, for miners. But uh, again, I don't think you're probably uh, miners, not that kind of uh, too many people out there going out on a limb on a Friday to buy them. Uh, miners tend to be the kind of stuff that big stodgy companies and hedge funds buy. 
And that's kind of a Monday afternoon kind of thing, uh, if they're still looking at it. Uh, to, 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 okay. Uh, uh, digital reality. Uh, if we see a low in the uh, in some of the big tech stocks, do you think that there's anything out here for it? Uh, actually, it looks fairly good in this. Of course, uh, they sell uh, or kind of lease a lot of uh, space for these cloud services companies. We have to look at this when we come back. It looks fairly good out here. If you wanted to be in real estate, this may be the only place to be. Although I think it's going to take a little bit of salvation. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Keep an eye on the sky. But really what you want to look at is that number on the S&P. That's the big one, and that's 38.58, which is about 28 points higher than where we're at right now. So keep a close eye on it. Uh, kind of a little bit of back and forth, so I don't see that much on it. Uh, to, to do What else do we have? Okay, going into a long weekend. I will not be here next week. I'm off on vacation. Although the newsletters will continue, the radio show will not be. It will be dark, as they like to say on uh, on Broadway next week. Uh, but uh, there's everybody else here. Uh, anyway, uh, what else do we have out here? Uh, XL uh, XME uh, got a question about the energies in the XLE. Uh, I don't know how you say these things just go up. 
but uh, got a fairly light volume today on a bit of a retrace. Uh, they may need to consolidate out for a while. Very tough to see without a change in policy uh, of the U.S. government, uh, a change in the XLE's trajectory higher. I think a lot of people are talking about 150 uh, uh, a barrel crude and not beyond the scope of reason as long as we continue to limit uh, output here in the United States. So pretty tough. Uh, am I still fairly bearish on the UNG? Uh, man, yes. You got a fairly uh, big pattern here uh, that would suggest lower for the summer uh, and probably a fairly decent pullback in UNG. And all you need is just maybe a 50 cent lower uh, close on Monday to get it. I'm not uh, saying that it's going to do that, but if it did, you'd want to watch out. Or if it just gaps down on Monday, um, it's not the end of the world. Depends on where you got back in on this thing. It's, uh, you know, over the summer, though, I could easily see it come back to 22 and a half, something like that. Set it up for the next big run, which is probably be in August uh, if we have that. Uh, okay, what else do we have out here? Uh, okay. Okay, got that. Uh, uh, okay, Pete, I answered that in the first segment. And I emailed you, and I think I like an echo back from you. I don't know what that was. Okay. Back here and look at a few others. So take care of this. Join storms. Okay. Uh, to do. See if we have anything else from the den. Okay. I guess they're in, interested in Twitter. Uh, okay. Let's go back through here. Let's take a look at some of the other stocks in FLX. Um, again, very tough to see some of these uh, out here. I've said for a while that the one thing I dislike and would not be long uh, Netflix for uh, is these two big gaps that exist out here. 80% chance you get a third one. And does it mean that you rally maybe to 280 before it happens? You certainly could. But I'm not a big fan of uh, two big gaps because you're, gonna, you're just uh, waiting for that third gap. And that's generally the better buy if you get it. About, like I said, about 80% of the time you get it. You haven't had much of a bounce here either. Uh, the only great thing you have is this incredibly decreasing volume since the gap down. Let's take a look at that. Uh, let's see here. So you had the big gap down, a lot of volume, and you've just been going sideways out here. But even today, hardly anything, 7 million shares, and that big gap came out 133. Doesn't mean it's going higher. And again, I don't like stocks that have two big gaps because you're just looking for a three gap play. You get that about 80% of the time. So the odds are against you. Uh, if you're looking for that third gap to short, I'd say 250 to maybe, you know, that's quite the, the bounce to get any good, decent risk reward. So I like other setups much better. Uh, okay, let's check in with the market already in progress. Uh, okay, eh. still hovering around 38.20, so we need 28 points higher for a close either today or on Monday, and we'll take a look at that. Uh, to, to, okay, uh, to, 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 okay. Question about GDXJ. GDXJ. Uh, you got no volume out here today either way. I don't know. You had volume yesterday. You pulled back a little on nothing. Um, again, probably a little bit more consolidation before this thing starts moving uh, better. We looked at uh, Apple already. All right here. Uh, Workday dollar. 
Uh, that uh, X and me, U and G. Okay. Let's see what else we have out here on the list. Uh, I think there's a couple of things. Um, wanted to look at some short selling. Uh, so let's go to those scans. Uh, and I'm just going to go through these quickly because I haven't had a chance to actually go through there. Uh, but uh, that's it. Okay. These are all highly shorted stocks, so I just wanted to see how they were reacting today. I'll get down here to a little tighter time frame of three months and see. Uh, Agilon Health, don't know much about this one. AGL, not doing much light volume. Uh, Akamai. Uh, down on extremely light volume. This, you want, you're almost there. You want a, a test of 93.74. What do you got down here today? One million shares, 1.1 million shares, going into three million shares. So all these again, massively shorted. So keep an eye on them. Uh, Allogene Therapeutics A L L O. Don't see much in that one. Uh, Amaris, another penny stock. Uh, AQN, eh, another one I don't know much about. Not getting a lot of love to the downside today. Volume is about half of what yesterday was. ASTR, eh, again, fairly light volume, decreasing volume the last five days. To, to ASXS, that one, ATI, Allegheny, this one's down. Uh, through the previous low, if we go back here to March 9th, had 3 million shares at 24.64. Uh, through that today with 1 million shares. So any close back above 28.64 puts that back in a trading range back up to 30. Uh, ATOS, uh, Agasa Genetics. Don't know this one either. Uh, it's penny stock. Eh. Hard to tell. ATUS, Altus US, actually holding up fairly well in a bad neighborhood today. But uh, volume's about half of what it was the day before, and half of that the day before. So holding out here around that $11. Yeah. We get back to look at uh, some other ones, Beam, Beam Therapeutics, look at some of these other biotech. I bet back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We come back, uh, Dr. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band asks about PayPal. When I think of the chart, uh, that uh, chart is down on about half the volume it was yesterday. Uh, the, the only thing I dislike is it really hasn't tested this low for May 12th. There's a lot of other stocks that will today. I imagine when I do my scan, I'll have a bunch of them in the newsletter for Monday uh, that are close uh, about making a signal. And as I said, everything's been incredibly dangerous to be long. But if you can come down and test previous lows on half the volume, that tells you a great deal that you can actually start thinking about buying equities again without uh, uh, too much worry. But I think it's going to be more of a stock picking market and a short squeeze market going forward, especially across next week. So if I want to be in anything, I'm probably going to make darn tootin' that it's tested the previous low on lighter volume. So I would look at a lot of those other stocks that have already. I don't see any problem with it, and it could go up from here. Uh, but uh, I want my back to the wall, so I have a very narrow uh, risk reward. Here you'd have to set your uh, stop below a, a close of uh, 71.83, and that's about six bucks. So it, it's the risk reward, not the pattern in the in the chart that makes me worried. Okay. Uh, yes, we've done that. Uh, let me respond uh, during the break on that. Okay. Uh, so what else? Uh, the moon together. Okay. Okay, uh, let's get back here to the emails. And again, you can give me a call at 877-927-6648. We'll get back to this. Uh, I wanted to look at, uh, what was it, Beam? We were looking at that. And just sideways out here. Again, I would, I love you know, have highly shorted stocks, so I'm not going to be short these things. Uh, but, uh, you know, if they're not already making an ABC up, um, that's interesting. Light volume on B-Fly. What does this company do? I do not know about them. They got, let's see, what is it out here? Butterfly Networks, a digital health company. Huh. Okay. Uh, where are you going to put that? It's digital health. Okay. I would have liked to have got down to this gap today, but the volume is telling you, you gapped up on the 13th with 5.6 million shares. You're down on 1.8 today. That tells you a lot. G, or excuse me, BGS is another one. Nothing in that one. BG Foods. Uh, Biomarin. Like I said, the uh, biotech's actually holding up fairly well on a bad hair day, uh, but nothing really in that one. Uh, you do have a good test in Clear Channel, and this is what I'm saying. There are a ton of these stocks that are going to look just like this. 10 million shares back on May 12th. At a buck sixty-nine, I don't know if that's it, but you got 1.1 million shares. So if you're into buying some non-expiring options, uh, interesting. Uh, Chesapeake Energy 
Yeah, well, you're back above the three by three here. Again, energy stocks, the market starts going higher. You're probably going to see that one go back up to the highs. Don't understand why it would be that shorted. Uh, okay, we got another one. Uh, URBN. Uh, Urban Outfitters. I'm not big for, I mean, these retail stocks have just been hammered this week. I don't see any redeeming features in any of these at the moment. Uh, like Ross just blew up this week. Um, I, I don't know. Three weeks before the stinks off of these, it may be the next fall. But uh, these big gap downs are going to take a long time to digest. So don't see anything in that one either. Can they bounce? They certainly can. But I don't see anything that gives you a signal one way or the other out here. Corsep Therapeutics. Uh, eh, big problem here is you're just back up to this uh, big day down on May 6th with 2 million shares. Not a lot of volume on the way up. But again, probably a bit of a short squeeze there. CPB Campbell Soup. What do these people hate Campbell so much for? I always wondered. Anyway, yeah, and he had a bad hair day two days ago with uh, 4 million shares down. All you're doing is going sideways on that one. CWH, uh, Camping World. Now, this is an interesting one. Uh, you got to think uh, people are still maybe willing to pay the gas uh, to get out on the road. Your last low was at uh, one and a half million shares. You got 822,000 shares today. Uh, I'd still want this thing to test 24.58, but uh, eh, a tough trade in what's probably, you know, when they change the gas pumps uh, so that you can have two digits before the decimal point as they did this week, what does that tell you? These guys are spending the money thinking that gas is going to go over 10 bucks. Uh, and I don't know why it wouldn't unless we change our policies. Uh, Dish Network uh, had a high volume low that is untested. So that's on my no-fly list. Uh, NVIDIA and AMD, uh, man, you need retests probably of today's low. So I don't think... Uh, I was hoping that AMD would do something before the end of the day. Maybe they do, but you'd need a lot of reversal of today's loss to uh, get either one of those back in the buy. I thought either one of those was ready to rip, but those things are getting 60, 70 percent short interest. Maybe Monday uh, you get a squeeze, but the charts look kind of bad today. A lot of other stuff looks a lot better. Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, this blew up on earnings this week. You had a lot of volume down on the 18th. Uh, got about 2 million shares there. Eh, around support, but I think there's better, faster horses out there. DNMR, a little bit of a pullback on not much volume. Don't know much about that one. DVAX to Dynavax Technologies. Uh, yeah, this is kind of gapped up and continued up, you'd probably want nine bucks to buy the thing if it pulled back. EOSE, just lower, EXPI. Uh, oh, okay. Ah, he's uh, got puts in it. Didn't explain what he was thinking about doing. URBN. Uh, uh, We'll look at that again. You got to tell me this stuff, folks. Okay, where is support on this? Uh, Urban Outfitters, probably fourteen forty-one, maybe fifteen bucks. You got two gaps down here to be a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Urban Outfitters at fifteen bucks. Uh, retail is just terrific. I don't think it's going to get any better this summer. We'll be back in.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return... Market starting to get a little bit uh, uh, okay. Am I making fun of the shorts? Um, okay. Uh, Coles, KSS. Again, I don't know. I, oh, if they're short. Uh, Kohl's, there's a big gap, right about 34 bucks, a double gap. Uh, that's where my target would be on Kohl's before this thing settles out. I, the biggest problem you have with Kohl's is they've got uh, some active investors uh, hounding this company. And I don't know if they're going to do anything now with the market the way it is, but they could always come out and gen, uh, gen this up with some more headlines, which is one of the reasons it held up as well as it did before it fell apart the last few weeks. Uh, on a chart basis, um, 34 bucks, but you've got always got to worry about those uh, activist investors, those pesky little activist investors. Uh, to, to, to. Okay. Fate Therapeutics, it hadn't quite made its 
dig down there. Figs. I don't know about this. Let's go back and check. Uh, we just got about 30 seconds. Let's check real quick on uh, some of the others out here uh, and see how we're going because we're pretty close. Again, any close above 38.58 is a huge sell signal if volume remains as slow as it has uh, so far today. We're going to come in extremely light on a lot of these. Uh, good indication is watch the volume on the queues today. But uh, probably the easiest number, 3858 on the S&P. We'll uh, see you in about uh, eight, nine, ten days uh, off on vacation. So when you can, not when you have to. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most